Brendan, a, a tough night in Madrid. Mm. A key moment in the first half had a pivotal effect on how the, the game transpired. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. I think we started the game well. We played with confidence. Um, and then we, uh, like I said, the, the sending off was, yeah, was a big turning point in the game. It was uh, it was definitely something that I didn't feel that was deserved. I think both both players come in, they kick, kick each other's feet. But um, yeah, it was um, it was really really disappointing to lose a player because it is it's, it's such a pivotal moment for a team like ourselves. You know, eleven v eleven, like we've shown, we're, we're competitive. Eleven versus ten with their quality and losing some so early in the game, we uh, that that was going to be really uphill challenge for us. I'm disappointed with the first two goals. You know, take that aside. We uh, second phase of uh, of the corners, we 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 didn't deal with that well. You know, we we cannot concede the first uh, goal, and uh, and obviously the second goal, we uh, we didn't deal with that either. However, goes into the second half, it's a real uphill challenge against a team that's going to be very close to looking to win this this competition. Um, and uh, but the the players gave everything. And I can't ask for the any more for the effort and commitment. You see the quality that they have, and uh, and we just uh, we were just hanging on in the end. Is that the frustration when you you see that instant with Dyson in, in real time, and it's two players coming together, and, and the referee calls it as a as a yellow card, and then obviously it's the VAR review that that subsequently calls him over to the side. Yeah, yeah, it's it, it's very disappointing. I don't like to comment so much on. On referees and all the decisions that they make, I think. It, but uh, I just feel that the what he's seen on the screen wasn't representative of the actual challenge. You know, he comes over and, and his first image of the challenge is a, a still of Dazan's foot up. So whether you like it or not, the human brain will, will straight away uh, push you towards the direction of a red card when you see that. But actually, if you see the actual whole incident, you'll have seen that. Uh, that both players kicked each other's feet, um, so that's the that's the real disappointment in it. And uh, then it feels like it's a computer game. Then they're, they're looking at the screens and, and everything else, and with the home crowd and everything uh, for the home team. Then he um, he obviously he went for it. You said eleven against eleven is tough when I mean, you're playing Atletico Madrid. Eleven against ten is even tougher. But the players. You know, throughout the 90 minutes, gave absolutely everything to, to try and stay in the game. Yeah, yeah, it is. And end up, they were, and if you actually think of the goals, they were shooting them in from all angles. They were whipping them in from the far side of the box, on the edge of the box. So they, they scored some quality goals and, and had some luck as well with one of the, the latter goals. He swings at it and slices it, but slices it straight into his, uh, his path. So, um, so, yeah, so everything that probably could have went against us uh, did so. And obviously frustration within the dressing room, I'm guessing, from the players. Important that they, they get back home, rest, recover and, and bounce back on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. We also have to look at where we can be better. Even with 11 v 10, we, we, we spoke enough on that and worked enough on that. Um, but I, I do respect the, the challenge of playing against a, a team of this quality and this level and experience. Um, that it is a, it is a real... Um, a real hard shift that the players have to pay. So they did, they gave everything, um, but we just um, we couldn't find any quality or any, any rhythm at all, uh, especially when they got the second goal.